Hello girls, it's Yolanda Renee. Welcome back to my ingredient series. I don't even know what to call this series, but if you guys have been checking me out for a while, you should have checked out my previous videos on coconut oil, castor oil, glycerin, and I think we did, did we do apple cider vinegar? And I think that's it. I think that's what we've covered so far. But today I'm coming to you guys with another video and we are going to be talking about rose water. Go a type of omen. Do you use that devil up in the red dress got and dressed and redressed she beats. I took my 3 Fs to the head not expecting Which is from Heritage Store and this is rose water and glycerin. So if you guys have not checked out my glycerin video, make sure you check it out. It is a bit confusing because glycerin is so weird. I ended up finding this um, particular product here in my hometown at a local natural food store. Natural food and health store. This is 8 fluid ounces and I paid $9.99 for this. They also have 4 fluid ounces that was $5.99. But I decided to get this one. Before recording this video, I searched everywhere for this water. It's very easily accessible online. There's so many um, shops online that sell it. Especially you can check out Amazon and just look up Heritage Store Rose Water. And it can be shipped to you fairly quickly. Um, but... I didn't have time for that so I went everywhere around in my town I went to like I went to the vitamin shop GNC I went to all the hair stores um, beauty supply stores here in my town because they have a lot of like you know natural oils and essential oils and all that good stuff um, but they didn't have it I'm like what I even went to my local Walmart and then finally I remembered that my um, when I used to have a dog his name was Ace <laughs> but he only ate organic dog food so that was the store we had to go to to get his food and I remembered seeing all that natural stuff and that was like so long ago that was like like oh my god like nine years ago but the store is still there I went there I was searching everywhere and I couldn't find it I kept seeing all these other oils so I like stocked up on stuff that I probably didn't even need like I got a lot of oils from there and then the cashier helped me find it so and this was the only one left <laughs> but anyway enough rambling let's talk about what rose water is of course rose water is just that it's water but it has rose petals infused in there so you get all the vitamins and nutrients from the roses into the water and you come out with water that smells amazing it has this mild fragrance to it it's really awesome you can spray this on your hair directly if you want um, or you can make your own like spritz I want to waste all my time with you. Don't you want the spritz to be mostly water, add the rose water, and then you can add um, glycerin. But like I said, mine already has glycerin in there. Then you can add your favorite oil, and I would say a light oil like coconut oil or sweet almond oil is a light oil. You could add sweet almond oil. You can add whatever oil that you want. And that should be your spritz. And you just spray your hair. I like to spray the ends of my hair and then kind of work it into the length of my hair because I personally don't like shrinkage. Um, I try to keep my hair stretched to stop tangles and to just show the length. It's more fun to me. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so you can use it in a spritz or you can just use it alone. You can spray this directly on your hair. You can spray this directly on your skin. This is just a very moisturizing and conditioning ingredient okay and um rose water is added into a lot of cosmetics and hair products so this series is about the actual ingredients that are in all those products that we're using so you don't necessarily have to use a certain conditioner to get benefits of rose oil you can get it alone and add it to your products that don't have it you can just add it directly to your hair it's up to you since doing this series i've noticed that 
pretty much everything we've been highlighting have the same benefits. So um, it's starting to get easier to do these videos because it really does um, have the same benefits for rose water. It conditions the hair, it moisturizes the hair, and of course if it's doing that to your hair, it's also doing the same thing for your scalp. So your scalp is happier, it's moisturized and conditioned, and rose water has vitamins. It has vitamins A, um, C, D, E, and B3. So all of those vitamins and nutrients are in your hair. It's helping your hair be healthier and stronger. Your scalp is healthier and stronger and moisturized. So it also eliminates dandruff, okay? So if you have a problem with dandruff, this may be your answer. And if you have a problem with dryness, in your hair this will be the answer for you water is the best moisturizer everyone knows that but depending on where you live or I mean not even depending where you live it's depending on what kind of water you have at home that water may be moisturizing your hair but it could be drying your hair out as well um, some people have hard water and that could be contributing to your dryness so Again, this is like a super water. <laughs> so I want you guys to really try this out on your hair. Don't take all of this information too far. Please do an allergy test because I've read that some people may be allergic. So do an allergy test first and then try out rose water and see if it can help you with your dry hair or your dry scalp. Another, um, another thing um, you can use it for is... It's cold right now. It's winter time. So some people like to do protective styles during the winter to protect their strands. I personally don't because <laughs> I'm not really outside in the elements, you know. I'm usually inside or if I'm outside, it's only for a quick second. So I'm okay with... I keep the, pretty much the same regimen all year round, but some people really like protective styling in the winter and in the summer. So... If you have something like Poetic Justice Braids, right, um, those, that synthetic hair wrapped tightly around your natural hair. And if you're worried about, you know, about keeping your hair clean and moisturized, you adding water to your box braids could be kind of damaging because when our hair is wet, it swells. It swells up. But if you have all that synthetic hair wrapped tightly around your natural hair, you add water to it, it could like swell up. And wherever that indentation is, where that synthetic hair is like really tight around your hair, that indentation, that could cause breakage in your hair. Um, some people really just do not like washing their hair to eliminate that or to eliminate their hair being too wet. And they they just don't wet it. So then eventually you have product buildup, you have dandruff, it's just dirty. And then your hair is super dry, so your hair may break off from that too. So it's like a never-ending cycle. But rose water is also known to kill bacteria. So if you're scared to wash your hair while your hair is in a protective style for like two weeks or more, you can at least spray this rose water, a spritz of rose water on your braids, on your scalp, and that will kill bacteria. You'll have a light fragrance on your hair because of it. And again, all of those benefits, you'll reap those benefits. So let's just go over the benefits one more time. That's what a wheezy talk. And that may never lie. You worry about who that you love and what don't you get money. That's what Khalifa taught me. Yeah, it just smells amazing and as soon as I spray my hair, I just feel it's like softer and I personally think it's softer and it's like fuller. It made my hair feel really bouncy and like, I don't know, I just like it. Um, but anyway, so I hope you guys learned a thing or two about rose water. 
And just remember, you guys, I love this series because I'm not coming to you guys as a know-it-all. Like, I really don't know it all. <laughs> so you guys keep me on my toes. I want to bring you great content. So um, this series is really fun because I get to dig in and research online and just look at all different resources to find out, like, what is this ingredient about? So slowly but surely, we're going to learn about each ingredient in our products. And once we understand each each ingredient and how it acts with our hair I think we will be better off at actually reading product labels um, but anyway yeah so that's all I have for you guys today and I hope you guys enjoyed it all right curls thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video where we are gonna be talking about jojoba oil yes this is gonna be our next one so if you have any questions about jojoba oil leave those in the comment section below and we'll be ready for our next video okay all right curls goodbye yeah. hey girl some brand new flavor for your ear if you smell me throw your nasal in the air been a player since the game was so